Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Creeper Queen mod, which basically adds a giant creeper into Minecraft and also four new kinds of small creepers, which spawn randomly in your world and are also spawned as minions when you spawn the Creeper Queen boss. And the Creeper Queen is absolutely huge, probably like a 10 story building kind of size, towers over you, and yeah, it's very dangerous. But to start off with, I'm just going to go through the four different kinds of creeper, so I can show you what they do. So the first kind of creeper I'm going to show you is called the Pyro Creeper, and if any of you have ever played Team Fortress 2, you're probably going to be able to guess that these guys just set everything on fire. So when they walk, you can see they actually set the blocks below them on fire, they leave like a fire trial behind them, and also, when you get contact damage from them, they'll set you on fire, and then you get that horrible tick damage from the fire damage, uh, which is really horrible. So say you're fighting the Creeper Queen, and one of these guys spawns as a minion, then you're going to be in trouble because you're going to have to retreat and wait until the fire comes out, so you can re-engage your attack on the Creeper Queen. Really horrible guys these, um, but they don't explode which is a plus point I suppose. And also, these guys when you kill them, drop flint, and you can get one between one and two flint when you kill these guys. So quite a good mob if you really want to make some arrows. And of course they have 20 health points, so nothing too spectacular. But next up is the infantry creeper, and this is basically like a normal creeper, although it doesn't explode. Um, but the special ability that these have is that when they go to villagers, and well villages, I mean, not villagers, they'll actually attack the villagers and also knock down their doors, which is kind of an interesting mechanic. But again they have 20 health, and when you kill these guys they only drop sticks. So it's not really that important to actually kill these guys, I mean, you don't really need sticks, you could just go and chop down a tree. So next up we've got the creeper scout. And this is pretty much identical to the infantry creeper. They will knock down doors and attack um, villages and stuff like that. But also they have an increased range and they do contact damage. So these guys will actually spawn like 40 blocks away and then they'll actually see you from 40 blocks away and come and attack you. And also they have like horde mechanics where if you kill, hit one of these guys like a zombies then it will draw in all the other zombies from the area or in this case creeper scouts. Um, but these guys actually drop sand which is peculiar. I actually tried and killed one before to show you what they actually drop. Um, but last but not least we've got the creeper soldier and these guys pretty much are like normal creepers and they drop gunpowder but the one main feature of these is they actually also attack villagers so they're quite similar these guys apart from the pyro creeper which is a bit different and they all of course have a chance of spawning when you're attacking the creeper queen so yeah now I'll just go on to the exciting bit which you've probably all been waiting for so there's only one thing left to do now and that is to spawn the creeper queen herself. So let's just spawn her and see what she looks like. There we go. Wow, that's one huge creeper. Imagine if she exploded, that would be one massive explosion. But luckily she doesn't explode. Um, but you can see she's actually got a crown there with a jewel at the front and horrible red eyes that make her look really evil. Ooh. And it's lucky I'm not in survival now because she'd be probably be really mad at me and blowing me up. But talking about survival, I actually probably should go into survival so I can see what she spawns and what minions she spawns and stuff like that. So here we go. She's now locked onto me. Maybe we should start spawning some minions. Shall I try shooting her? Um, there we go. Getting some hits off there. Are we going to get any minions yet or do I have to damage her a certain amount? Oh, there we go. Is that a creeper soldier that just spawned? Yep, yeah, believe so. And here we are. They just fly, like spew out of her head. That's a bit peculiar. Way of giving birth to creepers out your head. But we'll just deal with that. So we're just going to keep shooting her. Can you actually do contact damage with um, a sword, I mean? Like, let's get get up close. No, she's running away from me. Okay, there we are. Yep, you can use a sword. Oh, there's some creeper soldiers again. Whoa, getting blasted everywhere. That's why I've got some health potions. I don't think I'll be able to defeat her in this video since it could take quite a while. And she seems to be deflecting the arrows. That's a bit peculiar. Um, but there are some creepers over here. Let's kill them. Whoa, there's creepers spawning everywhere. But yeah, you can see this kind of battle. She will spawn some minions and stuff like that. So, got some more creeper soldiers. We haven't seen any pyro creepers or infantry creepers or anything like that yet. Just the um, boring creeper soldiers, so nothing special yet. Let's try and hit her again with the arrows. Oh, got some shots off. Oh, there we are, some pyro creepers have spawned. And whoa, that creeper just suicided and destroyed the other creeper. That was very handy. But you can see how these battles would kind of go. You can see there's loads of minions spawning, and those are the things that do most of the damage. Since the Creeper Queen doesn't appear to be able to attack you herself, it just seems to be the Creeper minions that she relies on to protect her. Which makes sense, really. She's just like in the background, whereas all their minions do all the work for her. And there we go, another infantry could be there spawning. And we can just hit these guys. And ooh, my hunger bar's getting low. But yep, yeah, we can just eat some of that. Regen some health. And ooh. Then try and go in and do some more contact damage to her. Come on. Die. Oh, she's running away from me. No. Come back here. I want to hit you. And whoa, there's a load of pyro creepers there. There's three of them. 
Oh, oh, there's creepers everywhere. I'm presuming as you get further and further into the battle, more and more creepers spawn and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it here and go back into um, creative, in the safety of creative. So you can see how these battles kind of go. As you get health down, more and more of the minions spawn. And eventually I can imagine you get surrounded by creepers and there's just no way of surviving. So I recommend you get some good armour for this. And I think the bow is probably the best for defeating her. Since you can't really get in too close because she seems to run away like that. Probably pushing her actually. It's probably the hitbox. Just like pushing her like that. Yep, that seems to be what it is. So next up we're going to be showing you the four items that this mod adds. Which you're going to need, well two of them you're going to need to actually spawn the creeper queen if you're in survival mode. So to spawn this Creeper Queen in survival mode, you're actually going to need to craft something called a Creeper Emblem, like this. And you get um, a diamond surrounded by TNT, as you can see here. And then you craft yourself a Creeper Emblem. And then you can use this to craft something called a Creeper Flag. And you can see this is the crafting recipe for that. And then once you've crafted yourself a Creeper Flag, you can spawn the Creeper Queen. And to do this, you just right click with the Creeper Flag on the ground. And boom, you've got a massive Creeper Queen ready to be fought. And yeah, hopefully you are successful and kill her. But I'm just going to despawn her now so I can actually continue on and show you the other items. So next up we've got the Creeper Army Spawner. And this basically enables you to have all the abilities of the Creeper Queen. As in you can spawn minions everywhere you go. So I can just right click on the ground with the Creeper Army Spawner like this. And you can see we spawn loads of different kinds of Creeper. We've got some Pyro Creepers there and some Infantry and some Creeper Soldiers. And whoa, that's a lot of... um. Um, sounds there from the creepers but yep that's the creeper army spawner and this drops when you kill the creeper queen and last but not least we've got the creeper gem and this also drops when you kill the creeper queen and this enables you to add blast protection 5 to any kind of armor well actually only helmets I lied um, so you can put a helmet in the crafting grid along with the creeper gem like that and boom you've got blast protection 5 on whatever kind of helmet you've put in there so there we go, and that's the Creeper Gem. So that pretty much concludes this mod spotlight, and it's going to night time. Look at that lovely sunset. It's brilliant. Um, but anyway, I'll see you next mod video. Please remember to leave a like, and definitely check out this mod. Although I do warn you, when you spawn the Creeper Queen in a normal generated world, it does lag a bit for some reason. Maybe it's because I've just got shaders, but there's like a massive lag. I mean, you fire the arrow, and it doesn't fire for 10 seconds. It's a bit peculiar, so I re recommend you try and fight the Creeper Queen in a flat map or something. But I'll see you next mod video anyway.